In more news, there was a big push last year to fill out your census form and soon we could see some changes to Kern County's five districts as officials get closer to redrawing its boundary lines. First, we want to take a look at what our current map looks like behind me in the live center here. We can see all five districts laid out here by color in District 1, which is going to be the lighter yellow here. That is going to represent much of Bakersfield and northeast part northeast parts of Kern County. Yellow is going to be District 2, that darker shade there. They're going to represent parts of Tehachapi and also parts of Bakersfield. District 3 is going to be in the green here. You see at the heart of the city that is going to include some parts of Oildale as well as Bakersfield. Purple is going to represent Wasco, McFarland, Delano. That is represent represented in District 4. And last but not least, District 5 is in the pink. That is going to represent the rest of Bakersfield. However, all of this could change. 23 ABC's Kylie Walker is joining us live with more details and as more from a meeting that took place tonight discussing all of this. Kylie. Yeah, Keely, redistricting is a process that's done every 10 years and that can affect those boundary changes. Things as big as where a school will be built, hospitals or even homes. So it is important to get the community input during this redrawing process. As a lifelong resident of Bakersfield, I have yet to feel my community has been adequately represented by a supervisor. I would like to see the new boundaries respect the continuity of well-established and distinct communities. An online submission was read on Monday night as the Kern County Board of Supervisors looks to seek public input before redrawing district lines later this year. I cannot tell you what your community is like, and that is why it's so important for people to come out and give their testimony uh, so the board has as much information to go on. The County of Kern will continue to host a series of outreach meetings before finalizing plans by December of this year. This is being done so that board members can prioritize these needs when redrawing the lines. And while they are looking to keep communities of interest together, where like-minded people would benefit from this free districting, this cannot include reasons surrounding political affiliations. And each district has to have about the same population. We have historical communities, tourism areas, rural and agriculture, media markets. Basically, if you can make the argument that your community is a community of interest, then it probably is. And for those community members who want to be part of this process, residents can go online to district.org slash California and draw out a map reflecting your community of interest with an area to write out your argument. And being what are the similar characteristics, uh, what bonds does your community have? Uh, the next one is mapping. So we can physically map it here. Um, and finally, how do the uh, how does the county impact the policy decisions made on this community of interest? Now, if you were able to give your input at one of those meetings tonight, we will have a few more in the near future. We'll have those dates and times on our website. Turn to 23.com. But for now, reporting in Northwest Bakersfield, I'm Kylie Walker, 23BC, connecting you.